Bulls Ladies Tour, Stage 2. And I just want to talk about one rider, Lorena Vides. She has had an unbelievable season. Um, she's won European Championship. She's won Prudential Ride London, Stage at the Tour of Yorkshire, Van Borsell, um, Noka Corsa, every single stage in the Tour of Chongmin as well. Uh, it's crazy what she's done. On the, so talking about just this stage, pretty technical to begin with, but the run is not too bad. couple roundabouts, but generally it's a pretty simple for the riders. So as you can see, we have an absolute mismatch of all sorts of teams. No one's taking control. Tracker trying to sort it out for Letitia Paternoster, who potentially could be Remco Impulse, new girlfriend, yet to be confirmed. She's a solid track rider, um, raced for Italy on the track, and I think she's an outside chance for Team Pursuit Medal Italy. They always, they're always improving their track squad a lot on the men's and women's side. Diamond, you see third, third or fourth wheel in the red jersey. Again, it's pretty strong at the moment. Yeah, it's good work by track but the problem is they don't really have the, enough firepower and i think this is the issue with some of the women's races is that unless it's an obvious sprint like uh ride london classic then they don't really have the firepower to uh, keep it strung out from you know three to k to go which is where i started this video all the way to one k to go kirsten field starting to move up behind her teammate here uh for wnt rotor pro cycling barbara Gwaraski also has had her teammates moving up for virtue cycling as well and uh michigan scott don't really have anyone on the sprint but i guess they're just keeping their gc hopefuls out of the wind and uh, in a safe position so they don't crash. Now you'll see around this corner, there's a lot of technical roundabouts. Well, there's just one roundabout where under Flam Rouge, where some people go right and they lose a lot of ground. So it's really important that they do, you know, stay with the strongest riders, which for this one, Bulls Dormans, Amy Dietrichson did a really good job making sure Amy Peters, uh, so Emily Dietrichson, she was a Danish national champion. She sorts out the lead out. So you can see you can go left or you can go right. And under the Flam Rouge, which is just about to come up, You'll see Dietrichson goes through it on the other side of the roundabout. And uh, cheerio, thanks for coming if you're on the left-hand side. It's really strung out now. The peloton's not really that small. It's starting to bunch up. like, But you can see the people on the left-hand side around this roundabout. Disastrous. Dietrichson takes it on the front. Flam Rouge beckons, as they always say. And on the left-hand side, you have lost a lot of place, position and energy. Cassini at Doma for Canyon Sram is third wheel now. She starts to decide it's time to start leaning out. You can see Kirsten Beald is absolutely huge in comparison to everyone else. Um, like, she's an absolute, like, just so much bigger. Like, if you think Con Riviera is at like 50 kilos, she must be at least 20 kilos on her. Somewhere moving up on the right for Lucinda, Lucinda Brand, um, who managed to get a decent result at the end of the day. But Silence come up very strong on this left hand corner and uh, really lead in pretty strong. But they should have had one more lead out because this, 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 this woman on the front, she sort of tires and um, ends up. There's a lot of swamping, and her rider behind gets swamped, and it's a disaster, really, because she, she can't actually move out, gets boxed in. You can see Kirsten Beald is just floating up. Dietrichson goes again. She looks super strong today. Really, really good lead out from her, like, all the way through um, some, some sort of 5K onwards. Uh, Kirsten Beald's on the right-hand side, still getting led up by Dietrichson. Veeds is just behind Kirsten Beald. Kirsten Beald, sorry. And Kirsten Beald starts to go now. Sprints, Veeves comes out on the right hand side, past Lucinda Brand, and takes the shortest route by a long way. And uh, it's, it sort of looks like it's going to be a longer sprint, but then they come off this speed bump, and that's pretty much it. And Veeves just carried a really good sprint. Like, she started earlier, then she was sort of slightly later than Kirsten Beale, but still um, just held it all the way. And yeah, it was a really impressive sprint by Veeves. So we'll go onto the helicopter and watch this footage from the helicopter. From the helicopter, Kirsten Beald is on the front, and uh, Veeves is just all in the wind. Like Lucinda Brown is a decent draft, but you can see Veeves is clearly a stronger rider because she comes off this speed bump with a lot more speed than Beald, who's clearly tiring and uh, takes the win in the end quite convincingly. I think Veeld just went a little bit too early, ran out of steam, and uh, couldn't compete with Veeves, who's absolutely on fire. Cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this analysis. Uh, looks like I'll be able to do the whole week, which is ideal.